Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Ford Nationals. And with that, I'm finally finding a car that I don't have on the channel, that I've been looking to have on the channel. I met Henry Smith, Good who has you. the car. So thank Henry, you. thank you. What car did you bring today? Uh, today I brought out a, uh, it's a 71 Ranchero. Uh, it's a GT 429 uh, Cobra Jet car. Kind of cool, it's a four-speed car. All original, unrestored, original paint, original hoses. Uh, the, the person that ordered this car really did a number on it. Uh, it's a Jayco, so it's got a shaker hood, hideaway headlights, blacked out hood, stripe on the side. So it's a well, well put together car, really very nice car. Let's take a look at it and ask okay. some more questions. So while we're looking at this car, I'm just going back so we can get it all in the side, just like that. And with that being said, finally, the right Ranchero. Thank you. So let's get closer now. You've had this car since how long? I've had this car for about two years. Okay. Uh, so I found it uh, up in Pennsylvania and bought from the grandson of the original owner. So it is a one owner car. Okay, one owner car. And all of this is, it, it, has it been repainted? It has not been, not, not one bit of paint work done to it. It's got nicks and scratches. It's got wear marks on it. It's been polished and the paint's thin. Uh, it is all original. I want to just share that with people. So they can look at this. And they might think, like I think, maybe it was doctored, but it's not. It's not. I say even you know when we get to the engine you'll see it's it is original. Now with this, I'm gonna show the back, we're gonna come back to the back, we're gonna to listen to the exhaust, but come on back to the back. So the ranchero of course was kind of a pickup, I'm trying to just block a little glare there. The ranchero was uh, the pickup bodied Torino. That's just wonderful. All right, let's take a look at the front of it. We've got the sport mirrors, the shaker hood. Here's the blackout package. Let's get a shot of the front of it. Right away headlights. Now, were the hideaways optional? Yep, that's an option. Uh, they put in the car, so it's a nice option. It cleans the car up a little nice. Yeah. It gives it a uh, very aggressive look. Let me take a look. Definitely. Let me take a look at the interior, may I? Sure. Okay, we're going to go right here. Catch that tag. So it is all original interior, original seats, which is kind of this really cool 70s wow. uh, spectrum color. Wow, yeah. Got a beautiful steering wheel. Let me just do that so people can take that in. That's, uh, wow. Four speed, and it's a 22,500 original mile car. So it's just pretty much a set in a garage. So this wouldn't be a barn find, this would be a garage find that somebody took very good care of. That's amazing. Now we got a period correct uh, tack, I see. Right, that's the only thing. It's a, it's a kind of a shame that somebody would bolt that to the dash pad, but it's it's uh, it's period. It's cool. It, it goes with the car. It fits everything. Yeah. So that's what you would do back in '70. You sure would. You know, because these cars, you could get an option for a ribbon tack, and uh, this particular one just had a, a clock instead of a ribbon tack. The Hurst. Okay, here's what's really amazing is that under the hood, this car even has the original hoses. So our original hoses, they coat it, it's incredible. Wow. 
it's that's untouched. All, it's not. That's all I have to say. Is it a brake booster? Yep, that's a power. It's a power brake car. Power brake, power steering. Still there, rev limiter, you, you name it. All the it's all gate coder, radiator, everything. The numbers matching engine, engine tag. Well, let's fire it up. Okay. We'll let it idle. I'll go back there and listen to it idle. We'll give it a rev. And we'll also turn on the headlights. Let me do what? Okay, the hideaways are disconnected. Alright, we're not doing the hideaways. for just a second. Beautiful. So what's the reaction when you're driving this? Uh, I've only driven it a little bit because it's so beautiful and I, I don't want to title it because I want to keep it as a, as a one owner car. Um, but I've had it to uh, one or two car shows and it's it's one of those ones uh, everybody looks at and they think that it's been restored and it isn't. And once you tell them it's a survivor, they can't believe it. If it's yeah, it's just truly, amazing. Yeah, the paint, the shine it has, you just have to do a double take. So Great car. Thank I've been you. looking for the right Ranchero and awesome. it has arrived. So. Thank you. First of all, if people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell they can see all the cars on the channel. And thank you, Henry, for finding such a great car. And I know that uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you again and maybe doing right. some more of your cars. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much. It's been a great day.